What's up guys, Garrett Green is back at it again. And today I'm bringing you the blackest black that has ever blacked in the history of blackness. Now, I'm sure at some point you've heard about some dark black paint, some paint that makes things disappear, and that's what we have today. Muso black paint from Japan. Muso black paint, the blackest paint on earth. Now, I have to give you a little bit of history of how this came to be because it's honestly kind of funny. And, I mean, it's not like some people in Japan were just like, You know what? Black paint is just not good enough. Let's make some blacker black paint. So basically, in 2014, a company called Surrey Nanosystems invented a material, a material, called Vanta Black. Vanta Black is a material that's made out of small carbon nanotubes and was known to absorb 99.965% of all light. So it essentially made stuff look like this. It made things disappear, and it was super cool, and everybody loved it and went, Oh, look! On the internet. But then, in 2016, a British artist named Anish Kapoor bought exclusive rights from Surrey Nanosystems to use Vanta Black in his work. So now, only Anish Kapoor can use it without getting, I guess, DMCA'd IRL. So, of course, the art world was like, Oh, this is ridiculous. We can't use Vanta Black. This is so stupid. Like, why are you holding this from us? We are the art world. We just want to make art. So, like, what's the problem with doing that? So then, the same year, in 2016, fellow British artist Stuart Simpler set out to create the pinkest pink to basically just give a big fuck you to Anish and saying you can't own colors. And even on the site to buy the pinkest pink, it had the following claim. By adding this product to your cart, you confirm that you are not Anish Kapoor, you are in no way affiliated to Anish Kapoor, you are not purchasing this item on behalf of Anish Kapoor or an associate of Anish Kapoor. To the best of your knowledge, information, and belief, this paint will not make its way into the hands of Anish Kapoor. So Stuart Sampler fucking hates Anish Kapoor. We get it. So the Pink is Pink went live. Everybody loved it. It was a statement and everything. Everyone <laughs> praised Stuart Sampler for creating this pinkest pink, right? So then, in 2017, in a move to kind of take back the blackest black from Anish Kapoor, Stuart Simpler created Black 2.0. Supposedly the blackest black paint you could find on the market. Another paint with a 90 plus percent absorption rate of light. So it was pretty crazy for people to get their hands on this. And then in 2019, MIT came back and said, oh, you think Vanta Black is black? We're gonna make the blackest black ever. The most abysmal, fucking soul-sucking, deepest, darkest, most blackest black your eyes could ever lay eyes on. Except you can't because it absorbs 99.999% of all light. So then our man Stuart Simpler came back again and used Kickstarter to fund a project to create a paint called Black 3.0, which Black 3.0 was even blacker than Black 2.0 and absorbed 97.5% of light. So pretty much all light. So this paint could be used to make items essentially disappear. But then finally in 2020, Japan had a other plans on their mind and they wanted to compete in the art world I guess and created what we have here Muso Black which absorbs up to 99.4% of all light so this is the blackest black paint you can find and I got a little bottle of it right here and we're gonna fuck around with it and hopefully not stain everything in my vicinity right now. Okay, so I got some bubble wrap because I know that this shit is gonna go through any kind of paper towels or paper or anything and I don't wanna stain this beautiful shitty thrifted table. It says you should airbrush the paint in order to get like the greatest effect of light absorption or whatever, but I don't have an airbrush, so I'm going to use this cheap ass paintbrush. So first things first, we're going to make this banana disappear. So I've never used this paint before. I am not an artist, but hopefully it's as simple as it seems. I mean, it's fucking paint. I mean, you just paint it on, right? I mean, it's that simple, right? I really don't want to knock this over. Let's have at it and see if we can make this banana disappear. It doesn't seem that special. It says to put on thin layers. It's better to use 
less than more. I guess that's why they recommend airbrushing, but we're just gonna put on some thin layers and see what it looks like. Okay, not too weird. Now, it says that it's supposed to be a matte paint. It's supposed to dry really flat matte so that, you know, it doesn't absorb any light. Right now, it looks pretty glossy, but I'm sure, it, you know, after a while, it's gonna get its nice matte finish and we'll know exactly what it's gonna look like. Oh, I see a little bit of it dried. Wow, it is so matte. I don't know if you can even see that, but right there, that little spot. It's so matte. I'm definitely gonna use way less as I continue this because I see what they mean. You definitely want to use less because damn, this shit is black. I just realized something. I was trying to look at the banana just to see if I missed any spots or anything. And I'm looking at the paint and I'm realizing the dimples in the banana are kind of like disappearing. And I think it might be, honestly, it's like, what? Hold on, this shit is wild. I cannot wait till this whole thing is painted. I really want it to dry. I want to I want to see the full Mousseau effect. Like how black is this going to be like? Damn, that shit is black. It's not all the way dried yet, but I feel like can you even see it with my shirt in the background? I don't know if I'm capturing the full effect of just how dark black this is, but holy shit. It is so dark. Like, unusually dark. <laughs> like, look at that. It's so matte, too. I see what it means by light absorbing. Like, even the light I have right here that's shining on it, it's not reflective like this surface is. It's like, it goes away. And then this side that has a shadow is like... You can't see any features of the skin of the banana at all. Crazy dark. That is so weird. Nice thumbnail. Nope. Damn, and as it dries, it really does get so much darker. It looks like it's been burned. Burned in half. Well, might as well do the whole thing. We're already in it. You know, while I'm doing this, I'm kind of just thinking of like, what are the most heinous applications of this paint? You know, like, what could you do with this paint to really like... <laughs> paint over someone's uh, rear view mirror in their car. All right, and I think we're all painted. Now we just gotta wait for it to dry. I wonder if it looks darker than my shirt right now. I guess it's dry now. Look at that. Look at that. It's got a little bit of scuffs and marks on it from the paintbrush because you're supposed to airbrush it. But look, for comparison, like, can you see how dark that is? The light absorbing effect is really like no joke. Like, I don't even know if you can see it on camera because I don't even know if the light is bright enough to make it appear. You know what I'm saying? But like, God damn. That is so surreal. That is so weird. That is so crazy. Well, let's go ahead and paint the, the top too. Let's just make it totally blacked out. I don't know why I like this so much. There's just some kind of authority or something that comes with something just being completely blacked out. Here's your, here's your primary character and here's the unlockable character. You've not unlocked this banana yet. <laughs> well, I really want to see how far this light absorption thing can go. So I'm going to paint a light bulb. This light bulb works. I tried it out before I took it out or whatever, but I'm going to keep a small hole on it so you can see it shine. And I want to see if any light can actually escape the light bulb if it's painted totally black. So this is a little science experiment for all you kids out there want to do science. Are you kids that watch me? I'm so fucking kid friendly, aren't I, YouTube? It's definitely more streaky on the glass, I can tell. This is where an airbrush would come in handy, but I can tell that this first layer is not gonna be premium quality layer. The drying time on this, watching paint dry. You wanna watch some paint dry? Fun. I left a kind of a larger window on it. Uh, I'll see what it looks like whenever I plug it in, but I might do a little smaller hole on it. I just want to... I just wanted to show that the light actually worked. So otherwise I would just paint it entirely black and see if it even comes on. I just realized this smells kind of weird. It smells like, wait, am I gonna get high? I guess it kind of smells like a Sharpie. And I guess what I'm figuring the most with this test is if it was just a regular paint that didn't absorb all light and everything, you'd see light through the paint. It wouldn't be like the light coming from the filament inside or whatever, but you could still see that it's lit up. With this, I'm hoping it just entirely blacks it out and just shines through this little window. And then, then we'll know, then we'll know. 
All right, I plugged it into this lamp here. You can see the Mousseau black side is kind of roughly painted. I probably could have done a better job painting it, but the main thing is to see how much light it can actually block out. So we got black light bulb, very cool, very interesting. And then we have Vanta black light bulb. I mean, if I did a better paint job, I think it would block out literally all of the light. It really is just solid jet black. I mean, you can see where my paint strokes are all shitty because I used a shitty paintbrush, which they also said to not use. But you know what? We're some rule breakers around here. Light bulb experiment, pretty interesting. Definitely could have done a better job. But hey, now we know. Very interesting. Very cool. So, blacked out light bulb, blacked out banana. What else can we black out? I mean, honestly, who gives a shit? Let's go for it. I'm gonna paint my hand. Just see what this shit looks like on skin. Cause you know what? It's a water-based paint, right? So, it can't hurt me, whatever. Now this seems like a really stupid bad idea and it's probably because it is. Science, am I right? Oh my God, this feels so wrong. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so stupid. This is so crazy. I can't even think of how it's gonna look when it dries because banana organic material, but it's pretty smooth, you know? Skin, I have all these little wrinkles and all these little divots and dimples and everything, and I don't know, my hand moves. So like, what is it gonna look like when my hand moves? You see, these are the questions that I ask when I see things like this online. The black is black paint. Well, what the fuck can you do with that? <laughs> Oh my god, this is crazy. I'm gonna try not to move my hand because I don't want it to crack or flake off or anything. I want it to be like solid, like my hand disappeared. Getting all the crevices and everything. <sighs> oh shit. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Oh my god. And this was just yet another decision. Trying to get all the cracks in my fingers and everything. But I think you're just supposed to not eat it. I don't think it's actually like toxic for your skin because I mean, it's paint. It's not like boat paint. It's like art paint. Sitting here liberally applying the blackest paint in the world on my skin. I mean, nothing bad's gonna happen, right? Whoa, let it dry. Oh my God. <laughs> That is so crazy looking. I'm gonna put it in front of my shirt. I wonder if you can still see it. It still needs to dry though. Yo, it literally looks like I'm wearing like a black latex glove. Like this is so crazy, but it's so dark. Like the hand banana comparison over here. I can't bend my hand cause it's, it'll crack. Look at me with my total abyss banana. <laughs> that is so wild. Hey guys. <laughs> with my shadow hand. I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at it. It just looks so crazy. Not even the contrast to my skin. I'm saying like the contrast to like reality around it. It just looks like a void. I wonder if it looks good on camera. Like if you can even see it, my hand, black shirt. <laughs> I don't even know if the camera's picking it up. I don't even know what it looks like yet till editing Garrett gets here and editing Garrett sees what's going on. <laughs> it's so wild. I don't know how to ex describe this effect to you, the viewer, uh, in our parasocial relationship that we have. But this paint, it's like, like looking at my laptop screen, which is off right now. It's like there's, you know, shadow shimmer, it's reflecting light. But when you look at this, it's like the light hits it and you can see the light that reflects. I don't know how to describe it. It's weird. And of course there has to be a couple arguing outside. Otherwise this wouldn't be, you know, living in the city. Now I know it's going to mess it up, but I just want to show you what happens when I bend my fingers. It gets all those little cracks in it, but God, that looks so crazy. I want to just paint like everything, this color. I want everything that I own to be Musso black. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, I'm, I hope that I've covered the topic of Musso black paint thoroughly enough through experimentation and through uh, the history of how it possibly came to be. But I appreciate all of you being here once again. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe.
uh, drop a like, drop a comment. Uh, let me know if you've had any experiences with uh, Musso Black Paint or Black 3.0 because, I mean, it honestly seems like some type of troll weapon to use against humanity because why would you need a paint that is absorbs light i mean unless you were like a burglar or something but i appreciate you all thank you so much again for tuning in follow me on instagram and twitter it's both the same just garrett greenest that's where i want to be you know discussing ideas and maybe you know trying to feature some content from my social media profiles and some future videos but thank you for being here and once again be good I love you.